This is Dr. Jarrett Hammer. Now I'm going to show you how to sign in and get your Freestyle Libre 3 app set up. As you can see in the bottom, you either can hit the sign in button or the get started now. If you already have an account with Freestyle, you hit the sign in. If not, you hit get started. I just signed in with my username and password and then terms of use come up. I hit accept. This is a privacy notice saying that this information is available to be viewed if you want it to be viewed by others. You hit accept. This is if you want to allow Abbott to use your information for research. If you're okay with that, you hit opt in. If not, you hit decline. And this is also saying that you're okay with HIPAA laws that are available if you share this information with your physician. I agree. This is telling you that if you get a high or a low warning, you are okay with letting it warn you and that you're also okay with letting it run in the background. You hit next. Country is United States. Milligrams per deciliter is correct. Most people will cover, won't be evaluating their servings and their grams of carbohydrate, but I will just do one serving is 10 grams. Now I can get started. Keep your phone within range of your sensor to receive glucose readings every minute. Your phone must have a Bluetooth connection with your sensor, so you have to make sure your Bluetooth is on. We're going to go through this later. Now, I do recommend that you have your own glucometer at home that if you are getting an abnormal reading from your Libre 3, you can check it against a glucometer. Also, if you take more than 500 milligrams of vitamin C per day, it can make your readings false, meaning a little too high or a little bit too low. Glucose alarms will go off if you get too high or too low. And then if you're hooked into uh, uh, earbuds or something like that, uh, those will go off with that. Make sure your settings are set up. And then I always say allow notifications. If you say don't allow, you won't be notified if you get a high or a low. Critical alerts is if something is going on that's not good, even when you have do not disturb on on your phone. And I'm gonna say allow on that. I have already applied my new sensor and I have created a video on that. So I'm going to hit next. Now I'm going to scan my sensor, so I'm going to hit that button and hold my phone up to my Libre 3 that is on my arm. And it says check. Again, it's reminding me about the vitamin C. I see OK. Now it'll say sensor ready in 60 minutes while it calibrates. Okay, now things have been calibrated and you can see I've got a little bit of time of where my blood sugar has been measured. It actually started a little bit high because while things were getting calibrated, I ate a sandwich so I could show you what my blood sugar would do. So it was up around 160 and then it dropped down. And for the rest of the day, I stayed around 100 to 120. If you can see where the date is, just right below the date, you can see a little box with the number two. That's where I made a note about what I ate for dinner. Up in the top left corner, we're going to go there and click on those three bars. Home is where our current blood sugar readings are. Logbook is 
uh, the different notes that we have made. Alarms, I'm going to go to there. This is where we set our glucose alarms. You can um, turn those on and off and adjust those how you would like. I like this one, signal loss alarm. If your phone goes away and it can no, no longer communicate via Bluetooth, it will give you alarm to remind you, hey, you're not near your phone and it's not going to give you readings. I'm going to go back. There's daily patterns. That is helpful after you've been using the glucose monitor at least a week or two. Time in range will give you an idea of where you are with your ranges. I'm gonna actually go to the next one, low glucose events. This tells you how many times you've had low glucose. Average glucose. This is really good because it tells you where you've been for the past few days. This percent GMI, that's after the daily graph. Actually, let's go to the daily graph. This is where you can cycle through days and you can see where your blood sugars have been for the past few days. As you can see on the 22nd, I had one carbohydrate rich meal with a abrupt spike and then a quick return to normal glycemia. The percent GMI, after you've worn this for many days, it will actually give you an estimate that is similar to your A1C. Let's go to sensor usage. I really like this. <clears throat> this tells me how much a person is using their sensor. You should be using your sensor at least four or five times a day. I've been looking at mine nine times a day. I want that percent time sensor is active to be higher. That will go higher as I have used it for a week. Let's go to settings, if you can see that with the cogwheel. Report settings, this is the most important thing. Different patients use this for different reasons. And you can set your high and lows. I like keeping the low at 70. I don't like to go higher than that. And then the default on the high was all the way at 180. As you want to get tighter and tighter control on your blood sugar, you can change it to 150, down to 140, and even down to 130 or 120. Now, for most people, they aren't going to want to get alarms if their blood sugar goes over 120, but they might want to know if it goes over 140. So I'm going to save it like that. <clears throat> Lastly is, let's go to reminders. There's reminders that you can set that it will alarm on your phone to actually look at your Libre 3. So you can set a timer where it'll actually start checking down and you can adjust that, say, hey, in two hours, I wanna see what happens. Or you can say, I'm gonna set myself a reminder. Also, I'll hit add reminder and I'll say, okay, every day at 8 a.m. when I wake up, I'm going to set a reminder that I need to remember to look at my Libre 3. I'm gonna hit repeating as yes. Um, we're gonna hit every day, and then we're gonna hit done. Now, I'm gonna have a reminder that tells me to check my Libre 3 every morning at 8 a.m. <clears throat> Those are all of the discussions I'm gonna have for getting you, you set up. In the next installment, we're going to look into this a little bit deeper on how we can use the Libre 3 
for a carbohydrate restricted diet and helping you improve your metabolism. Thank you and have a good day.